Hi everyone, Mike here. Here's a little story. At the start of the pandemic, a friend decided to track their weight on a weekly basis. They had a really smart set of scales and at the press of a button, the weight and the date would be recorded and stored permanently inside the device. And this data could at any time be exported to Excel. The problem was that it was stored and exported as stones and pounds. And my friend being in Europe wanted it in kilograms. And it wasn't a simple case of doing a conversion. The data was stored and exported in this format, meaning it needed cleaning up before it could be used in any conversion formula. As with many things in Excel, there's more than one way to do this. And I chose to do it using Power Query. Let me show you how I did it. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here's the data that I want to convert. And I'm going to start by clicking on data from table or range. Now, if you're a Mac user, you don't natively have from table or range there, but you can add it to the ribbon via a free add-in. Check out the link in the description. I need to confirm where the data is. So I'll just click on OK there and also confirm that the first row of that range is headers. And that will open up Excel's query editor. Once I've got the query editor open, make sure that I've got the date column selected. You can just click on the appropriate column headings. And I want to change the data type in that column to be just date. So I click the little icon next to the word date and select date. And because in the applied steps box on the right hand side, I've already got the changed date step, which I didn't put in, Excel put that in. I've got that highlighted. It's asking me if I want to add a new step or replace the current step. And I want to add a new step. Once I've done that, I want to split the weight into stones and pounds. And I'm going to do that by adding another column. So I click on the weight column to select it and click on add column extract and then text before delimiter extract means keep and a delimiter is one or more characters that you can use as a separator so i want to keep everything before the st and the st of stone will be the delimiter i then specify st as the delimiter and click OK. And that has now created a new column where the data is everything before the ST. I want to do a similar thing to keep the number of pounds. And that is going to be everything between the space and the LBS, which is the code for pounds. So again, keep the weight column selected, click on add column, extract, and this time it's going to be text between delimiters. The start delimiter is the space and the end delimiter is LBS and click OK. And that has created my second column. I'll then change the column type of both of those columns to number because if you look to the left of the column headings, you've got an ABC, which means text. So click on the first ABC and select whole number, click on the second ABC and select whole number. I also want to change the column name. So double click on text before delimiter and change that to stone and do the same thing for the second column and change that to pounds. I then need to create another column, which is going to give me the total number of pounds. I need to do that to eventually and ultimately calculate the number of kilos. So what I need to do is click on add column, custom column, because I need to create a formula. Give the column a name. I'm going to call it total pounds. And for the formula, it's going to be stone multiplied by 14 because there are 14 pounds in a stone, plus the pounds. 
So if I double click on stone in this list, it puts it into the formula multiplied by 14 plus pounds. But because I've got a mixture of mathematical symbols, I need to put brackets or parentheses around the stone multiplied by 14. So it does that as a separate calculation. Without going too deep into the maths, I want to take the number of stone and multiply that by 14, as I said, and that will give me the, the total number of pounds for those stones plus the number of pounds, which is in the pounds column. And click on OK. And that is the total number of pounds. Now, I could have just left it there, just doing Power Query to do the data cleaning and then use the convert function back in the spreadsheet, as I showed you in last week's video, to convert the pounds to kilos. If you didn't see last week's video, I'll put a link in the description below. But I decided to do the whole thing in Power Query. So I want to add another column to convert pounds to kilos. So I'll click on Add Column, Custom Column, and the name I'll give it is Kilograms. I then need to multiply the total number of pounds by this number here. By the way, I'm no mathematician. This is where Google is your friend. So the formula will be total pounds, and I double click on it from this list on the right, multiplied by 0.45 three, five, nine, two, three, seven, and click on OK. I want to round that to two decimal places. So with the kilogram column selected, I'll click transform, rounding, round, and round that to two decimal places. Finally, I need to select the columns I want to see in the spreadsheet. And to do that, click on Home and choose columns. I'll untick select all columns and I want to keep the date. I want to keep the weight, which is the original, and I want to keep the number of kilos and click OK. Once I've done that, I'm going to click File, Close and Load To, and I'm going to select a table, existing worksheet, and select E1. What that's going to do is Create a table in the spreadsheet starting at E1. Click on OK. All that remains for me to then do is apply formatting. Change the date format, change the alignment, the font size, and so on. And because this is Power Query, the next time the data is exported from the scales, all my friend has to do is click on Data, Refresh All, and the table generated by the query will automatically update. Let me show you. I'm going to go down to A14 and I'm going to put the 12th of June 2020 and 14 stone 13 pounds. And then click data refresh all and you can see that it's added that onto the second table. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter? And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.